Good morning everyone. It is Thursday morning, September the 12th. This is, I think, a rather sad day for America. Picked up a copy of the New York Times today and right there on the op-ed page there is an editorial by Vladimir Putin, Russia's leader. He lectures the United States. He takes command of foreign policy. He has beaten our own President Obama. I note the following. He says, there is every reason to believe the poison gas was not used by the Syrian army, but by the opposition forces. He's enhancing this myth that somehow or other, the rebels in Syria got hold of these weapons, fired them, and then made it responsibility of the Syrian government. This from the leader of Russia. Item number two, reports that militants are preparing another attack, this time against Israel, cannot be ignored. Oh, really, Mr. Putin? Suddenly, you are a friend of Israel? Incredible. And the last line, we ask for the Lord's blessings. That's from Vladimir Putin. Didn't he used to run the KGB in the atheist state of the Soviet Union? It's incredible. This is an editorial that is political dynamite. It is a basic statement that I, Vladimir Putin, I lead America's foreign policy. Vladimir Putin to President Obama, zero. That's what we've come to. Incredible, is it not? But I repeat my charge. Money has no morality. In the th last three days, the Dow Jones Industrial Average has gone up roughly 400 points as foreign dictators have taken over control of our foreign policy. That is immoral. Money doesn't care. Stocks go up. Incredible. There's a lot more news today, but that to me was the highlight, and we will have more on it three hours from now.